everyone. This is Kristen from the Queen Anne's County Library. Um, today I am going to be teaching you guys how to make beetle wing necklaces. And here is what it looks like. Um, it kind of flops around a little bit and makes a wonderful sound. So if you registered for this program, you would have received a bag that looks like this. So let's unpack what's in here. Inside this are your six beetle wings. We have your necklace chain. And then we have um, two different size jump rings in here. There should be seven of the smaller and three of the larger. So that side. So let me divide them out. Three larger ones. And then the seven smaller ones. And then if you needed it, we do have um, pairs of pliers that you could borrow. Just make sure that you return them to the library so other people can do this project as well. Um, so if anyone has ever done the button earrings class with me before, this is going to be a very similar technique. So first we're gonna take our um, three larger jump rings here and we want to open them up and you do um, kind of a side to side. You don't wanna pull it apart going that way you want to go side to side and then you just string the two on and then close it back up okay and now you should see that there's three all together and then we're going to start working from the bottom up if you can tell, I've arranged the beetle wings, so these will be my bottom ones, these will be the middle, and then these will be the top ones, um, so kind of in size order. We'll take one of our smaller jump rings, and we'll open it up, and we will loop it through, and the hole is a little bit tiny, which is why we had to use the smaller jump rings. Um, the bigger ones were a little too thick to go through. So we put it on our bottom one. And I am actually going to cheat and use a second set of pliers. As you can see, just close it up so it lines up. And we have the first one on. And we will do... Find where the hole is. and then this will just be on the other side and try to get it so it faces um, the iridescent part faces outwards when they're next to each other As you can see, I'm not a professional, <laughs> just a librarian. Okay, let's try this again. Okay. Nice and steady. There we go, it is lined up. And you can see, hopefully I did it right, so they are, they will face each other like that. Maybe not perfect, but like that. And then we're gonna work on the next row. And once again, we wanna grab our pliers. And move it apart. 
Now I first saw beetle wings um, actually at the Renaissance Festival, which I thought was kind of fitting for our theme of Imagine Your Story because it's kind of a fairy tale-esque there. Um, I also discovered that beetle wings have been used for centuries now um, for decorating with embroidery. So I wish I had that skill because I do do historical costuming. So that would make something very pretty. So there's the third one on. And then we want to make sure when we put the next one on in the middle that it goes on the other side of the bottom jump ring so they don't end up being on the same side of the middle jump ring. And then so see how it needs to go in between. Show that again. There's top jump ring and then the middle one so you can see how there's one on either side of the bottom jump ring. And now we're working our way to the very top. And you want to make sure you do the same thing with this one as far as one on either side. One more to go. They like to turn around a little bit, so you kind of have to fix them sometimes. Together. And it is all together. So and you're, you have one jump ring left. And so this is how we're gonna connect it to the chain, necklace chain. So let's just open that up. Grab the top one. through there and then put a chain through it as well and we just need to close it up and ta-da you have a beautiful renaissance fair worthy necklace and this um, technique can be used if you want to do um, earrings as well with using the beetle wings, um, or as I said, buttons, it also works.